hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c divided by 20 minus c square root is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of c here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root further at the end i can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root uh, so now we move towards the solution of this problem so for this we move this 20 minus c square root to the right hand side and it will be written as c is equals to square root of 20 minus c so that uh, here here you see that we uh, need to remove uh, the square root sign from right hand side so when you re uh, move the square root sign from right hand side so that we will just take scaring on both of the sides so when you will take scaring it will be written as c square is equals to this is square root of 20 minus c whole square and uh, now further in the next step you see here we have this is our c square is equals to this two and this square root are gone and we obtain here 20 minus c so uh, here uh, we move this minus uh, 20, 20 minus c into the left hand side and it will become this is c square this is minus c becomes here plus c this is 20 becomes minus 20 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step uh, you see here this equation will becomes quadratic in c variable so that we can just uh, solve this quadratic equation and we know about that uh, there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation uh, the first method is uh, factorization method uh, second one is completing square and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula but here i can just uh, use the uh, factorization technique uh, to make the factors of this equation for this we need to break the middle term of this equation so you see here its middle term is plus c and we write this plus c as 5c minus 4c minus 20 is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these terms involve c so that we will take common c from here and this will become c plus 5 and here we take common minus 4 and we get c plus 5 is equals to 0 and further in the next step you see here we have where uh, we need to take common c plus 5 from both of these equations and when we will take common c plus 5 we get the remaining values are from here we get c minus from here we get minus 4 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now here uh, we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c plus 5 is equal to 0 and the second case is we write c minus 4 is equals to 0. So from here we easily get the value of c is equals to minus 5. This is our first root of the given equation. And from here we get the value of c is equals to plus 4. This is the second root of the given equation. So you see here uh, we get the two roots of the given equation. Uh, and now here in the next steps we need to verify that. Uh, which one of the root are solution of this equation and which one of the roots are extraneous root so for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is c divided by 20 minus c is equals to 1 so this is the over given question statement and here uh, we need to put the value of c is equals to minus 5 first we verify this value of c, c okay so when we put c is equals to minus 5 into the left hand side of this equation it will be written as minus 5 divided by square root of 20 minus c and the value of c is minus 5 and this whole equation is equals to 1 and uh, now here in the next step we have this is minus 5 divided by this is square root of 20 and minus times of minus becomes plus 5 is equals to 1 and uh, further you see here we need more simplifications and we will obtain here this is minus 5 divided by this is a square root of 20 plus 5 becomes square root of 25 is equals to 1 and here we have this is uh, minus 5 divided by square root of 25 becomes 5 is equals to 1 so this 5 is cancelled out by this 5 
and we get here minus 1 is equals to plus 1. So you see here minus 1 is not equals to plus 1 in general. This means that uh, the value of c is equals to minus 5 is not satisfied our given question statement. So the value of c is equals to minus 5 be the extraneous root of the given equation. Okay. Uh, and here we need to verify our uh, second root. And we know that uh, the second root of uh, c is equals to 4. Okay. So now we put this value of c into the uh, given equation. So we have this is 4 divided by square root of 20 minus 4 is equals to 1. And this implies that 4 divided by 16 square root is equals to 1. And we know that a uh, square root of 16 is equals to 4 equals to 1. This implies that 4 is cancelled out by 4 and we get 1 is equals to 1. So this shows that the value of c is equals to 4 uh, is satisfied our given question statement. So that uh, the solution set of the given question is 4 only. Okay. This is the our final answer. And now here I can explain the difference between solution set and extraneous root so the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution and the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root so here we have 4 be the uh, solution and uh, minus 5 be the extraneous root so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos